Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make cactus and succulent magnets. I'm a little biased, but I think this is the cutest thing I've made so far. If you're interested in learning how to make these, please keep on watching. The first thing you need is polymer clay. You can use whatever brand you like and whatever colors you like. A modeling tool set. Magnets. And some sort of strong neck. First we're going to make a succulent. So the first thing you're going to do is take a piece of clay and mold it into a ball and then into a long rope. Then take the knife from your sculpting tool kit and cut two small pieces, then four slightly larger pieces, and then five slightly larger pieces than that, and then five more slightly larger pieces than that. And then you mold all of them into little balls. Next you're going to take one of the larger balls and mold it into a teardrop. You'll do this by pinching and pulling the clay until it's about a rounded triangle. You need to create a base for your succulent, so here I'm just creating a flat circle for all the pieces to sit upon. Next, you'll take each piece and press it down into your base, and you'll end up forming a five-point star. And you're going to do the same thing with your five slightly smaller pieces as well. And then you'll take the four slightly smaller pieces and put those inside of the five pieces that you just placed. And then pick up the two smaller pieces, place those together, and stick them in the middle. I'm just doing a little tweaking here. Next up is our cactus. So I took two pieces of clay that are different colors and swirled them together until I made a ball. And then you'll take that ball and press it down slightly so that's a little squished on the top and on the bottom. Next we're going to draw six lines across the top and we're just going to do this so that we have a guide so that we're pinching the sides. And as you can see I made the lines on the sides a little deeper so it would be easier to pinch my pleats. So here I am pinching the pleats. You want to kind of form a triangle in your hand. And you're going to do this on each side of the cactus. And I'm just smoothing out in between as I go and taking the tools and making it a little deeper on the side so it's easier for me to pinch and make my pleats. I didn't want to add real spikes to my magnets, so to create the effect of it, I just poked holes all along the sides and it just gives it some extra depth. Next we're going to create a little red flower to go on top of the cactus. To do this, I took a small piece of red clay and then created tiny little teardrops. I made about five of these petals in total. You notice it's the same effect that we did to make the succulent. And then you just attach it to the top using one of the tools from your sculpting kit. Next, we're going to make another cactus. So this cactus, you saw it took a bowl and I flattened it out. So now it's kind of like an oval shape and we're rolling it out. And then we're going to take two smaller balls and make kind of half circles. And then we're going to attach those to the top of the cactus. And here I'm just smoothing it out so I don't have to worry about them falling off. and make sure you smooth any pieces that you've attached on both sides. One, it looks better, but also you don't have to worry about them just falling apart. And then I took the rolling pin to make it a little bit more of a smoothest transition. And then I decided to add pink flowers to this cactus because for some reason I think all cactuses should have flowers on them. So I think I ended up making about three pieces to go on one side, two on another side, and then two in a little corner. So seven total. I should also note it's really important or just really helpful to have a reference picture while you're making your cactuses so it looks a little bit more realistic. So here I'm adding holes and these are going to substitute as our spikes again. And then I just use both ends of this piece so that we had some depth and different size holes. Now we're going to make our final succulent. So I took two more pieces of clay and marbled them together and formed a ball. 
and then a long chain, and then same process as before. You got two small pieces, four larger, five slightly larger than that, five slightly larger than that, and then I decided to extra roll. And I know it looks like I don't have the two small pieces, but for some reason I did notice those were in the frame. So I'm forming the teardrops again, but I'm going to place them upside down so I'm making sure the bottoms are rounder. So you'll take your base and start attaching the leaves. So I did five on the bottom, five more on top of that, five more on top of that, and so on and so forth. So I decided to do the top of this one a little different. I took the two smallest pieces and then took the four slightly larger ones and formed it all around it so it kind of encased it. And then I stuck that right in the middle of my succulent. For our finer cactus, we're going to take a ball of clay and form it into a thick hot dog. Once I wrote the piece of clay to the thickness that I wanted, I cut off the bottom and we'll use that later. So we're going to do a similar method to what we did with the other cactus, where it's the pinch pleat method. So we're going to cut two slices on the side of the cactus or a piece of clay and about thirds. You want to make sure you keep the bottom flat though because that's where the magnet's going to go. Then you'll pinch the clay along the top, in between where you cut, and then along the sides as well. And then you want to smooth out any creases or any cracks that have formed in the clay. That'll be your main cactus, and then you'll take the leftover piece of clay, cut it in half, and you'll do the same thing that you did to the big piece. So the clay and magnet had something to stick to, I created a small ball of clay and formed into a disc and then attached it to the back. And as you can see, I added pink flowers to the top of this one as well. Here are my final five magnets. You'll bake them in the oven according to your clay's instruction. Once the clay has cooled, you'll attach the magnet to the back using the strong adhesive. If you end up making these magnets, please tag me on Instagram at madebychan. And if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what else you'd like to see on my channel. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.